All right, so we're getting rid of the storm system that brought in the cold air. You've probably felt it throughout the day yesterday, and then if you've been outside this morning, it's certainly a cold one as we're down below freezing. But as far as the precipitation is concerned, we had a little bit of snow fall in with a little bit of rain throughout the afternoon yesterday, and none of it stuck, and none of it was really expected to. It was trace amounts, if any. Uh, for yesterday. So that being said, we do still have a few little showers that are popping up on the radar. Uh, some down south and east, but it looks like what we have in Robertson, Pendleton, Owen County, and maybe even in Scott County. It could be a, a few flakes coming down uh, with that cold air, but really nothing expected to stick out of this. And even on the southeastern counties, really not much happening there either. It's certainly not the snow that's up in the New England states, uh, Maine all the way down into the Atlantic and then portions of New York. Upper Vermont, but then you've got big upper level lows sitting out over Minnesota, and that's the one that's going to bring in another cold front overnight tonight and then cool things down again tomorrow. Not much, but it's a dry front. It's it's basically just another cold air mass that's trying to make its way in, uh, but it moderates before it arrives. So today we warm up quite nicely, actually, with the sunshine. Temperatures should get to the mid to upper 40s, but after the front passage overnight tonight and the wind shift out of the north, I think. Tomorrow we cool down by about five degrees. That low that's sitting over the Mississippi River eventually starts to get its act together and it's going to bring in cloud coverage, maybe a little rain, maybe a little snow, but once again, just like yesterday, not much expected to stick, if any, and then another cold front right behind it. So pretty active weather for not a whole lot going on. Sunshine after the clouds break up throughout the late morning hours and it stays with us. The next chance we get for any kind of cloud coverage is overnight tonight, maybe some morning fog throughout tomorrow morning, but that's really about it. Then you see that bubble of moisture come up. All right, now we're picking up on a little bit more moisture uh, for those southeastern counties, but I bet this stretches all the way up towards the bluegrass. Maybe some snow on the back end, certainly a possibility, but it's still going to be a very minor system uh, as that next cold front comes through. As far as the rain potential with that Tuesday system, quarter of an inch at most, but I think even that's a little generous, so maybe a couple of tenths of an inch, certainly possible. Snowfall amounts are going to be much less than that, maybe a trace, if anything. As far as what we have for today, though, none of that. Temperatures starting out cold, ending nice and chilly in the mid to upper 40s versus the 30s, like where we were yesterday afternoon. Mid 40s for tomorrow, we drop a few degrees because of that overnight cold front. Tuesday, though, with that storm system that's going to work in, it will bring in a lot more cloud coverage, and that's going to bring that temperature down quite a bit. So upper 30s, best we do on Tuesday, a cold, cold day, even with temperature starting out around freezing. So we have that chance for a little rain, a little snow. It is a quick hit, but it's something. It's something to talk about, certainly. You can see how we go from the mid-40s down to the upper 30s. Kind of rebound a little bit, but it's really more Thursday into Friday that we do get that big warm-up with the next storm system that's coming in. So rain falling, but temperatures nice and mild. In fact, we could be feeling a little bit more like early spring as we're getting into the weekend upcoming, uh, but it will be met with quite a bit of rainfall as well. So your eight-day forecast, few days of sunshine, which will be nice starting this afternoon and going into Monday. And then Tuesday, that little quick hit storm going to bring through maybe a little rain snow. After that, some more sunshine before a lot of rain and a lot of warmth. More news after the break.